Hello, and welcome to the live stream where Bones and Matica are streaming. Come on, Matica, take your spot. Take your spot. Hur hurry, take your spot. Yeah, there we go. Matica, the artist. Oh, all the drugs. <laughs> um, acetaminophen. Yeah, I've had too much like cough syrup in the past few days for that. Yeah, I'd love it, but I have a headache. It's not really my toe that needs to Hi, welcome to the very last day of 400 <laughs> Days of Making Comics. Hello and welcome. Oh, sorry, that was loud. Um, I'm here. I'm queer. I'm sure we're all used to that. Um, yeah. So we're going to be working on Moonlight today. Because, technically, we're already done the 100 days. So we get to do whatever the frick we want. Because yeah, yes, because we started a day earlier. I Madoka's the artist. Excuse me. She's the real artist behind McKay and Gray. You've been <laughs> stealing her work all this time. No, I would never. Serena agrees. She's howling. <laughs> I come She's... out with a new style of Serena's art. <laughs> we made it, boys. Oh wow. Oh no, it is it is gay. <laughs> Thank you, Bones and Ursa, for helping me win two thousand cats. You're welcome. We were going to take extra time, and then I saw your bet, and I was like, I can't make Gabby lose. Hugh, <laughs> <laughs> Hugh. Hugh, Hugh. I hope so. Oh, I have such a headache. Hmm, sorry. Boo. Probably from all of the uh, Spyro I've been playing. Mm hmm. I got Spyro. The dang gamer boy. I'll say Spyro. What are the dimensions? Of Six book. by nine. How Six. many times do I have to say this to you? Oh, Six by nine. <laughs> Six by nine. This kid. This kid is still gray. So weird. This kid they call gray. Jeez. Yeah, six by nine centimeters. <laughs> centimeters. <laughs> He's real little. <laughs> Itty bitty travel book. <laughs> Honk. Do you get to relax Honk. after this? I don't get to relax after this. Because then I have to do more comics. It never stops. Wow, did we copy your comic? No, let's just trade paperback size. <laughs> trade is 6 by 9? Yeah. It was 5 by 7. Wait a minute. Let's look at book sizes. Mm. I have might be 7 by 10. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we found a cool printer. We didn't. Our friend did. And we were like, heck, this printer is close to us, and they do cool Rizzo grass stuff. And we are like... I'm going to look. I'm going to look at the price. <laughs> You're going to look at and it. And make it ridiculous. Yeah. But it's cool. It is really cool. I'm looking for a post okay. to draw for two hours. I also got another quote from Moonlight, just in case. Mm -hmm. Possible tear <gasps> goal. Spot glitter. Ooh! Yeah. Oh, woo! <laughs> I was wondering what printer you use. Uh, depends on the thing. If you need a printer, you talk to me. I'm not divulging all my secrets. Yeah, come so. come to us privately. Because Just because I know a lot of people use the printer, and it's all secret. Yeah. And you're in Canada, and you're you're right beside it. So there you go. <laughs> But if you're looking for general on like print on demand, we use Lulu. Yeah. That I won't hide. <laughs> yeah. You, you gotta hide your printer except yeah. from cool peeps. Exactly. You earned that. I'm doing Inktober. Oh no. Mm. Design some characters, oh. Ursula. Character design. Character design. There's three characters you have to design. Oh, you're right. Okay. Because there's werewolf son. Vampire daughter. Okay. Their apartment and the woods. So how would you describe their personality? Because the werewolf child. <laughs> I need to look at like body types and uh, stuff because I want to make sure we're diverse in the anthology. Mm. And I don't know if we have any beautiful plus size vampires. <sighs> oh, well, no matter what, now she's gonna be a plus size vampire. <laughs> okay. So That's it's fair. been decided. <laughs> Um, I have to look at the script. I haven't looked at it. Well, the one is spunky. 
he's, he, he's like, he's like, act first, questions later. <laughs> <laughs> Such a mood. Sorry, I, sorry, I just let me chat. I'm going to talk to the chat. Don't worry. I just need to look at some of these. I think there's a lot of thin people. Hold on, thinny beneath. I know there's like one plus size lady. Uh, if I look up character design, they'll call it. like a character dating app. So how would you describe your personality? <laughs> Cause there's the... Oh, that would be like a cute RP event. Is like OC speed dating. <laughs> OC speed dating? Like, it's very... Like, it would be like... You'd randomly get chosen, at, like, one of your OCs and someone else's, and you'd, like, chat privately for, like, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes, and your characters can RP. Play as a paunchy old lady. Ooh. It's like so Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, secret character design. Showing your slow characters, mm. like, passing notes. Because I know about two of the stories that you Yeah, because oh. these guys. The blast. Because there's lots of racial diversity, That's which good. is really good. Mm -hmm. There isn't a lot of um, disability, and yeah, I've, I've noticed there's lots of mm. same body types. Yeah. I really like Eve's character. Yes. <laughs> They're, They're so, so good. Yeah. Lots of diverse styles, too. Yeah, cool. tootle, to tootly. Tootly. <laughs> Tootle. Phones don't pass notes in class. Shh, I'm the teacher, I'm allowed. I'm the teacher, we pass notes. <laughs> Do you know how cool you guys are to listen to while I'm drawing? Oh, thank you for listening to us while you draw. I hope we're helpful. I painted my nails red last week, and now they're chipping away. My nails look like they belong to a zombie. Oh, right, they're SIDS. I still have, like, black nail polish on my toes from, like, two months ago. I really need to, like, get some acetone. Get some ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. Bones. There's these ones. Oh, I love that one. It's so cute. Okay, they, they have, like... There's some... Yeah. I was gonna say biodiversity, <laughs> body diversity, <laughs> biodiversity, <laughs> biodiverse. Um, and there's the one by Dante. Mm -hmm. Dante, what are you? Yeah. Oh God. I'm in love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there's lots of like racial diversity and like, yeah, because I noticed that in like the stories being pitched. Um. Because there, yeah, but there's not a lot of body diversity, I've noticed. Mm. I mean, there is some. Yeah. Spoiler alert, it's a year. Wait, Simply Neological just posted a video testing how long her nail p polish lasted. Oh my god, a year. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. I want that nail polish, except I don't because my nails don't even last a year. I'm soaking my foot right now in salt. I need Epsom salts. We should get a maid. How much will that cost? <laughs> See, I imagine rich people have live-in maids. See, that's... <laughs> wow, that is crazy rich. See, that's like... We're like enough money that we can have just like a house person show up. Mm -hmm. How much to clean... Washroom. Basically, Bones and I hate cleaning the washroom, so we're looking into getting a maid or a cleaner to do it. I'll be your maid if you let me pick the uniform. <laughs> Is it a fursuit? <laughs> One of your OCs eats the weirdest foods. Um. Do we have a Do we have an OC who would just eat birds? It's Rizzo. Rizzo eats the worst. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Rizzo has the, the, the urge to just put things in his mouth. 
<laughs> just eats meat. <laughs> Raw meat. If you cook it, he can't eat it. <laughs> yeah, he's like, but I want to I want to eat food. Opinion on plus size models? They're good? I don't know. I like them. They do good work. Scrubbing and eggs and sink and shower and everything built up so That would be great. Who wouldn't want a furry to clean their house? Exactly. Let's organize a house cleaning team. <laughs> Please. Who wants to be my live in maid? I'm taking applications. <laughs> we won't pay you. You just get to live with us. It'll be like an internship. We can teach you about <laughs> comics. <laughs> oh, God. In exchange for labor. <laughs> <laughs> I had a variety of live-in maids growing up. It's very common in the Philippines. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. In here, it's bougie AF. Mm. It's because you have to pay people. A lot. <laughs> to make them live with you. <laughs> There's a maid service in town, and they drive these bright yellow cars with, you've got maids on the side. <laughs> How much does a maid cost? Pay in art. I'm broke enough that I'd take the live in maid thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, we, well, the thing is, like, we won't feed you, so you have to find work elsewhere. <laughs> we can feed them. We have a Costco membership. Oh, true. <laughs> I guess we can feed them. They can live in our basement. There we go. Little basement Dwelling. party pad. I mean, to be fair, the cost of rent. In this city, man, it's intense. Just, just to clean our bathroom, that would be worth it. It's true. I'd do it. If I was a little college boop, I would totally live in our house for free and clean <laughs> as payment. Cost of bathroom made services. Canada. Canad. Canad. Cost of cleaning services. We can make our sal- make our roommate's mom clean the house. She's a maid. <laughs> oh right, she did do cleaning. Oh, what is it called? I keep calling them maids, but I don't want to like say that if that's not like the politically correct term. Like a housekeeper. How much does it cost? Oh, here we go. Custom maids, Toronto. They'll give us like a a good idea. Okay, like an estimate. Like an estimate. Houses and townhouses for four hours is about $200. Like, that's the house. It's the whole house? Like the whole house. A very large house is $315 for seven hours of cleaning. Good lord. It's I mean, not I guess that, that bad. That's, true, that's a pretty good wage for one day of work. Yeah. Penthouse and loft, lofts. Four hours, 200 bucks. I don't know. Let's go look at it. It depends on, like, how often you get them, right? Mm. Three hours of cleaning is $135. R- <laughs> rates including HST. So it's already HST included. Yeah. Sorry, I understand now that you were talking about live-in maids, but at first I thought you were saying living maids. And I was like, what is a dead maid? <laughs> It's when you have like, um, like a lich come and clean your house. <laughs> Here's the ones. Here's the ones we need. Is like when you just like got something really nasty and you hire someone to clean it. <laughs> one major job. One major do- job. It's like, clean my fridge. Yes, <laughs> please. Well, that's the first one listed. Oh, really? Yeah, it's clean like clean out oven, clean out fridge, wash windows, do laundry. Do laundry. Or another house cleaning task of your choosing. You know, I shouldn't be rude about laundry because I know lots of people who struggle with keeping up with it, especially well, when yeah. they've got kids. Yeah, some people need someone to do their laundry. And some people like their clothes not just thrown onto the floor. Listen. <laughs> Take the stress out of housework. Hell yeah. I mean, yeah, Man, we should that, talk to our friends. that business person looks so stressed. Yeah, you're stressed. <laughs> I literally have no clue how people keep their houses together, feed know. themselves healthy. The answer is that they're rich and they have someone in their house that makes them dinners. <laughs> there we go. How, how much for a living chef? 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, a nutritionist. <laughs> Gotta pay extra for, like, really fancy food. Um, someone asked who I'm drawing. I'm drawing a character from Bones's comic in... Our comic. Sorry, our comic. <laughs> the comic that Bones wrote <laughs> for uh, Moonlight. 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 The Moo Anthology. The Moonlight, Moonlight. Anthology. Don't maids do cooking Oh, there too? they are. They can. Let's see. Oh, I love them. <laughs> I love that one comic. It's a dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> the expressions are on flight. They're 10 out of 10. Um, maids can do cooking. I think, like, unless you have, like, a live-in maid here, maid is more associated with, like, house cleaning. Yeah. Yeah. Housekeeper? Yeah, housekeeper, housekeeper. is more like someone who maintains a household, I think. Or someone who lives in. Yeah. You gotta live in nanny. To babysit us. <laughs> babysit our dogs please <laughs> yeah we should just get someone to clean our bathroom we really should our bathroom is nasty so it well we could probably splurge and do the the whole house clean like once a quarter <laughs> once a quarter yeah just get it back to like a good level and then we maintain it yeah well we see what happens mm -hmm. and then see yeah because we got money now we we're gonna move out instead just make someone clean this house <laughs> there we go because we got a Roomba true we got a robot cleaning guys are you also doing reviews on people's uploaded web comics on patreon uh, we do critiques of like 40-ish page, 20 to 40 pages at a time for $8 a month. So yeah, because if you have like 200 pages of comic, you could get that done in a few months and then quit. <laughs> like, it's true. Amalthea, Amalthea, yeah. you're rude. Amalthea, stop being rude. She's rude. Don't First of all, she's rude. rude. I can't do anything about it. Oh, right. I'm in the puddle. Here, hold this. Okay. <laughs> Stop her. She's rude. Multi. Don't be rude. Don't be That's rude. not your house. You can't sit on top of it. Get off the roof. <laughs> meh, 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 meh. You put my tablet down. I'm going to go pour my coffee. Oh. Hi. Hi. Multi was being rude, guys. Oh, he's so rude. No. Lear. <laughs> Leave my pen alone. Is Lear being rude? He's a rude boy. He's being good, actually. He's just sitting in the box. Sorry, men's critiques. Yeah, yeah, we do those. Bones wanted a maid. Roomba is a dead maid. <laughs> Evan couldn't have a free living chef if he wasn't mean. Oh, he could have had one. Hey y'all, suggest me a relationship conflict that can arise from a first date. Oh no, they're a dragon! Sorry, I don't know. That's my conflict. <laughs> Add oh, no. a dragon! <laughs> a relationship conflict. Amalthea well, is now harassing Madoka. I'm president of Evan Anti Fan Club. Anytime I get to bring up the Evan is a jerk face, I'll do it. Eat the toilet paper so that it wipes on the way out. <laughs> oh no. Oh whoa. Hello, trash can. <laughs> Joke's on you, maybe I like dragons. Okay, the conflict is they said they were a dragon in their profile, but they're not. But you still like them. But they're a liar. There you go. Relationship conflict bones. Cursed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Always add a curse. Oh, I should open up my bugs so they get some oxygen. And maybe feed my isopods. Malthia, don't. You're being rude again. Malthia. Stop considering this. You can't just live on top of Al's house. That's his house. It's rude. 
Thanks, my outline is cured. You're welcome. Now they're just pawing opposite sides of the glass. <laughs> I will get <laughs> Madoka's like, what is going on? The springtails and little, little critter, critters? Yeah, the springtails don't have any pinholes because they're so small they would escape. So I have to open it up every once in a while to let them have some air. Technically, the world in my comics is set in one of those furry anther worlds. You mean one of the best worlds ever? Heck yeah. Like Spyro, the dragon. I got it on the Switch, and I'm so happy. But also frustrated, because man, that game has some moments. <laughs> what is in my glass? It's on the outside. Okay, it's on the outside. It's just like goo. Oh, goo. <laughs> Ooh, woo. Okay, I am back. All right. So what kind of like art style we want to go with for this? It's a really good question. Because we want something simple, like flat color. Yeah. Hey Bones, Ooh. I have a question about plot twits. Twit, 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 twit. Plot twitters. Plot twitters. Um, do they have to, do they happen exclusively in the inciting incident and the climax? Also, our plot points and plot twists the same um plot points or plot turns like aren't always like a huge twist but they're usually a twist it, it just depends on how twist how much twist there is to them and you can have twists occur at different points in your story it's just probably best to align them with your major points like depending on how integral they are to your story because, like, a, a mystery is going to constantly have twists and, st and turns. But those are just, like, um, trial-fail cycles. Because you thought it was this way, but it's actually that way. And, oh no, that was a failure kind of thing. Man. Man, oh man. When you trans. You're cute. Yeah, yeah. Relationship conflict. They went to Area 51 for the raid. <laughs> what happened with the raid? I saw one Naruto runner and two people got arrested. Oh, really? I think so. I saw people in those, like, blow-up Bob alien costumes. Bob made it? Did Bob go to the 5150 raid? Who's Bob? I don't know. They said, hi, I made it. I'm assuming they meant to, to the oh. stream. But I thought it was just, like, on time. Oh, so. it's Bob. I think. Did you go to the Area 51 raid? The couple hate my favorite food. Well, that's a fourth wall va vandalization. I can get behind. <laughs> no, I made it here. Sure, okay. Bob. Sure thing you were in at Area 51. <laughs> Bob lives at Area 51 and they've finally been released. <laughs> Someone urinated. Wait. Urinated in public? Oh, okay. Oh, no. One guy got arrested for peeing on the gate. <laughs> they just turned up in like alien costumes and got arrested, I think. <laughs> they offended the aliens. Surprisingly wholesome, besides someone actually trying to break in and someone getting naked. Okay. <laughs> okay. That sounds nice. That sounds like a fun raid. Did they have a barbecue? Hey, Amothia, stop being rude. Don't just twitch your ear in my general direction. Come here. Come here. All right, Bones just carries chicken in his pocket. Pictures of people in tinfoil was funny. <laughs> yeah, it's for you. It's honestly a very mild event. <laughs> there you go. Take it. Take it. Take it. There we go. Don't drop it in my water, please. <laughs> I just like offering chicken to the small children of the world. And then his cats. Rejected? Who was rejected? Me? Yeah, I'm multi. I was not. She came over. One day she'll realize that I always have chicken. That's like true. Lear has. And that's why Lear never leaves me alone. <laughs> Will my comic fail? Hell yeah. We all are failures together in solidarity. And that's how we win. Sometimes it's okay for your comic to fail, though. Yeah. 
You just gotta love yourself and try your best. Well, everything's a failure in someone's eyes because failure is just kind of like the opposite of like success, and everyone defines success differently. True. Because Twilight's a failure, but it's also totally a success, you know. True. Twilight's my go-to. As <laughs> like. It's everyone knows it. And that's, yeah. Yeah. Everyone knows the controversies. Let me see. I can't see. Oh, wow. So you could do good. something more simplified like this. Like, it's really simple shapes or one that's more like my usual style, but maybe, like, closer to dot eyes or something. Yeah, maybe. Something. Something. Yeah. I don't know how to picture the main person. The main guy. As a trans guy. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> As a cutie. He's cute. I know, because he's like cute and spunky. It's just me. It's just bones. <laughs> it's pretty bones. <laughs> just draw bones, to be honest. Idea for McKay and Gray fan art. We all failed together party. <laughs> Failure is just a learning experience, too. Bones isn't spunky. You gotta spunky... All over you. Stop! <laughs> I can outspunk him. <laughs> can I out crunk? <laughs> crunk off. Crunk off. <laughs> In two dis Corbins? In Discord? I, I don't know. I <laughs> you started it, June. Did they? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> Did you just say he's <laughs> We all fell together. <laughs> You're killing me, dude. You're killing me. What's it? What do you say? You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. What? Oh, I don't know what the phrase is. What's it from? I don't know. I'm dying. It's okay, June. I'll resuscitate you. <laughs> Just no mouth to mouth because that's ineffective. Only. No barking at the neighbors, please. No. Oh. You're killing me, Larry. Is that it? No. You're killing me, Smalls. It's from the Goonies. You're killing me, Lisa. No. Because you're tearing me apart, Lisa. No, it's none of the ones. It's it's from something else. In my mind, it's something else. Because I know there's lots of, you're killing me this, you're killing me that. Is it a Gilmore Girls reference? Oh, maybe. Which means it's a reference of a reference. Mm -hmm. Kill me. <laughs> I did not hit her. I saw a multi and I was like, how'd Serena get out? <laughs> little Serena. Because you just see her little pointy know, ears and, and you're, you're like, like Serena. <laughs> I constantly see her in the corner of my eye and I think it's Serena running by. Yeah. Hey, Corbin. <laughs> yes. How many Corbin? Doggo eating water noise. <laughs> <laughs> eating water. <laughs> Retracted. <laughs> You're killing me, Pete. <laughs> the ultimate one. Think about the possibility. <laughs> nom nom. That's looking good there, Sla. Oh, thanks. Lamau. I figure he needs to be noodly, because he does talk about, like, needing muscles. Yeah, he wants to be the muscle boy. He needs a hoodie, because he's trans. And that's the uniform? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> trans... Trans boys understand. Trans masks understand there the hoodie. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Madoka? Oh. <laughs> Madoka and Fedor playing. 
They haven't played in a while. Guys, there's so many gays at art college. You're just finding this out? <laughs> just, I'd be surprised if there was straights at art college. Hoodies are my... See? Saul gets it. Mark gets it. We all get it. <laughs> the good hoodie vibes. I need a hoodie. <laughs> I get it. I'm... I have my ear to the vein of the trans mass community. Why are you putting your ear on veins? <laughs> so I can hear the pulse. <laughs> the heart beeps. The heart boops. <laughs> no, heart beeps. I know. The heart goes beep, beep, beep. <laughs> That's how you know your heart's doing well. Let me hear your heart. Hear my heart. No, it feels kind of squishy. <laughs> it's making like a... Ugh. Noise. And while you were listening to a vein. <laughs> Turn your arm. <laughs> Gaze of heart. Yeah, beats. it sounds like. <laughs> Do I hear mine? Sure. <laughs> yeah, he's like. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> <laughs> ASMR vein time. <laughs> whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Oh, God. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. It's like a it's like a flesh generator. Ew. <laughs> you know, like when you turn the AC on, it's yeah. all. But but it's made of flesh, and it goes. Sounds <laughs> 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 like something out of a horror game. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. The flesh generator. It doesn't generate flesh. It's a generator made of flesh. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that thing on Game Grumps where it's like? Are you inside your skeleton or outside of your skeleton? Because your consciousness is in your brain and that's inside your skeleton. Isn't it like we're piloting like a fleshy mech suit or something? Like we're our brains. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but are you inside or outside of your skeleton? I feel like we're wrapped cozily around it. I feel like we're inside our skeleton because we're inside our skull. Yeah, but you're all of your body. When does your body stop being part of you? Because all because your brain goes whoosh, and it has like nerves and stuff. And yeah. And they're outside of your skeleton, so you're like inside and out. You're like consuming your skeleton. You're like wrapping it up. It's a little toasty. <laughs> a little t We're like a sweater. Oh my god, we're wearing a flesh sweater. Yeah, but it goes inside. Yeah. This is too deep <laughs> for me. Humans are just donuts. Humans are donuts. We're weirdly shaped donuts. That's my favorite fact. We are around the skeleton. We are a brain pil piloting a bone flesh suit. <laughs> my friend, um, they have a kid, and one day their kid was like, learned about like skeletons and stuff. And they were like, wait, do I have a skeleton inside me? And their dad is like, yeah. She was like, do you, is there one in you too? <laughs> she was just very disturbed by this. We're coming to a lot of conclusions here. Flesh sweater to go with your flesh generator. <laughs> You're more or less your brain and nervous system while also not really being your brain and your nervous system. It's weird. <laughs> like, I remember once Bones and I were talking about, like, if you lost, like, a finger, like, it got cut off, where, like, that's still part of you, but it's not part of you anymore. It's weird. It's weird when you really think about it. Oh, yes. It's weird when you think about it. If you lost, like, a finger, it's part of you, but it's not part of you anymore. Like, you can't feel it anymore. It's weird. Yep. Skeleton season coming. Hell yeah. Skeleton season never ends. Did you know that you always have a skeleton? <laughs> Our friend's child, <laughs> one Halloween, was looking at a skeleton, and then they, like, tilt their head. I and they just were told like, the oh, story. <laughs> sorry. It's okay. It's such a good story. It's so good. It's good for skeleton season. Beep boop. It is I. 
Bones McKay, making my triumphant return. My brain and bones are both mean. And I don't know, I don't care if they're part of me, they're jerk butts, oh no. My toe's a horrible thing, I wanna cut it off. Eat that toe. Eat my toe, eat the toe. Don't eat your toe. It's got delicious mushrooms on it. <laughs> Fun gas. Fun gas. I have such a little like sleepy thing going on here. Cause I was up till 2 a.m. playing Spiru. What a fool. You bones are. is anti toe. No, toe is anti bones. Toe started it. Toe started it. Bones is a skeleton. Is bones his skeleton? Yes, the rest doesn't matter. My consciousness resides inside of my bones. <laughs> I like the idea that, like, like face reveal for you would be just like a skeleton. Skeleton. <laughs> Amalthea, don't be rude. Al, stop trying to escape. Ow. I feel like Al needs food. Yeah, I'm hungry. Malty! 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 <laughs> I like how waving a pillow at her <laughs> scares her away. <laughs> gotta go. Bye. Thanks for coming by, Bob. Yeah. Have fun at Area 51. I'm sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> Face reveal would be one bone. Just be a skull. <laughs> Skulls aren't one bone. Shut up. Skulls have like some of the most bones. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Can you don't yell at me? She has to pee. We'll let her out for a pee. Ow, you're not a boreal. Stop climbing things. Ow. Alberto. Holy did y'all see that article that says our bones produce anxiety-inducing substances? It all makes sense now. Bones, what do you want for your birthday? I don't know. I have everything. You have to leave me the hell alone. <laughs> I have everything I could want. I was trying to be nice and you interrupt me. Aww. That's what I want. I want a day where Ursula doesn't interrupt me. <laughs> I want pictures of Lul, but nothing else. There we go. Ugh, I want a break. I want a successful Kickstarter. Mm. That's not my birthday, though. That's October 13th. Hell yeah. Moonlight. Moonlight. Oh, I was drawing on the wrong layer. Why is it layer? Where's our racer? There's the racer. Wait, I want. Give the trans boy Juan. hips. Give him hips? Yeah. Okay. They're dreaming. <laughs> well, bony induces anxiety. Al is going to be a rebellious teenage lizard who climbs trees. <laughs> <laughs> he really is. I need to get clamps. I'm worried he's going to like climb his way out. Mm, yeah, we should get a clamp. Um, Malti is a rebellious teenage cat. And yeah. that's actually a fact. Yeah, true. They're still like two years old? They're gonna be three? No, they're one. They're gonna be two? Wait. They were born 2017. Yeah, they're gonna be two. Did Fado turn two? Yeah. Oh. He turned two back in March. Okay. I'm aging them up. I know. Like the anime. I get confused. <laughs> we have too many pots. Al's three. Al's three? Yeah. Why is he three and no one else? Because he was born before them. <laughs> Scratch he... my back. Ugh, you're so freaking mean. Wait, where's my back scratcher? It's behind you. No, it's not. It oh, is. It is. You it saying is. I'm a liar. I say it sometimes Mr. you don't know McKay. what's going on. I mean, that's fair. I don't think you're on purpose lying. Hell yeah, back scratcher game. I need like one of the collapsible ones. Mm. And I need to just keep it in my pocket. Like all my other stuff. <laughs> I wanna wear cargo pants, but the fashion police won't let me. Listen, you can wear whatever you want. I wanna wear black cargo pants and goth t shirts. 
and goth t-shirts. Yeah. Hell and like yeah. suspenders that like hang over. Oh hell like, yeah. Studs. And That's I have a, a lip look. ring. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can come with me when I get my nose pierced. No. I'm wearing <laughs> pants. <laughs> Oh my god, the fashion police are coming for you. Wee woo, wee woo. A cab, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> a fab. A fab. A, a cab. And all fashion cops are bad. <laughs> Af- Manica, it's okay. Come inside. Manica, we miss you. Come home. Come to the light. Manica. Go back to the darkness. <laughs> Return to whence you came. Fashion police aren't <gasps> the only police after me. Also the FBI and the CIA. Is June from Area 51? Why isn't he wearing pants? Because I'm working on it. <laughs> also, what if he had cargo pants? He'll <laughs> <laughs> fight you. <laughs> shorts and um shorts and a hoodie is the trans oh my god that's is... the trans summer <laughs> living the trans <laughs> summer <laughs> love him already <laughs> this is my boy oh jeez i forgot you're standing in the water <laughs> i was yeah, like no. i can't let the dog in oh i'm sorry <laughs> i keep forgetting and i was like oh god what spilled you're just like, oh my god, bones. Just let the dog in. <gasps> I'm sorry. You try and take... I'm going to get my toe surgery. And you're going to be like, for two weeks while I'm recovering, you're going to be like, just walk. Just walk. Huh? Just walk on it. It's fine. <laughs> just walk on over here. And the trans has to be tall. They're stereotypes. Tall trans lady, short trans boy. <laughs> I heard the glove walk it off. <laughs> <laughs> Serena, after surgery, let me run. Let me jump. <laughs> Time to wrestle. Want to tackle. You had toe surgery once? Oh no. Because I have an ingrown toenail and I probably have to get my toenail removed. <laughs> Even had to do the salt bath thing. Oh no. I just don't want to get a surgery. So I'm gonna just not. I'm gonna hope that my toe rots away. That's the ultimate stage of an ingrown toenail. Is your bones becoming infected. Excuse me? <laughs> yes. The final form. Oh god. It's like um. Is it abscess with your yeah. with cavities? In your teeth? Yeah. <gasps> but at least... Toes are further away from your brain. True. Because if you have an infected tooth, it can become a brain infection. Mm, I don't like that. Yeah, we'll take care of your teeth. We don't like that either. Just floss. <laughs> Just floss so you don't get bacteria in your brain. I've been doing it more often lately. What's the first step to flossing every day? I hope my toe rots away bones 20 nights. <laughs> It doesn't look necrotic. <laughs> God. Ah, don't. No. June. I have all of the worst surgeries because stuff about nails is awful. And I had belly button surgery. Like, I have all of the nasties. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to hope it heals itself because my toe's done that a few times. Mm-hmm. My toe has had many forms of terrible... First, it was me hitting it into something and sending a splinter right down through the middle. Ugh. And it just didn't go away for years. <laughs> like, literally years for the splinter to come out. And then an opportunistic fungus. I feel like I've had a bad toe since as long as we've been together. I think like, so. I've had this for just nine about. years. And this time, the fungus rotted away half my toe. And it just came off one stream, <laughs> I think. And now it's growing in weird. Ugh. I'm sorry, I'll stop. This is gross. This is very gross. 
Bone, stop. I don't want to know this. I'm sorry. Is it cursed? It's a cursed toe? Yeah, basically, my toe is cursed. I have to live with it, guys. Like... It's very gross. I'm dying. I'm sorry. It's not my fault that the media has made you feel that toenails are the grossest thing ever. I was almost thinking you repeat that now. Just go back. There's a DVR. <laughs> I feel like I'd be disgusted if I didn't already go through this. It sucks, man. I understand your pain. I feel like if I wait long enough, it'll grow in, right? I don't know. <coughs> so fatal. He's like sleeping. Why is he Just sleeping? in the middle of the room. Oh. He's just like passed out on his side. Jar, your toe is an OC. No. How is the drawings going? I can't see past your big ugly hands. Why are we doing this today? <laughs> They're big and cute. And I'm jealous. <laughs> My appendages are disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Part of your toe? No, it was the nail. The nail came off. Still gross. <laughs> we lose every single subscriber. Like, Bye. <laughs> we start getting like the pimple popping community. Uh, oh, I hate that stuff. No thanks. Not into it. Not for me. I'm glad people have it, but no. You can't monetize that. It's explicitly demonetized huh. in the terms of service now. Please no. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. I love them. They're amazing. Thank you. Thank you for your amazing shirt. What? <laughs> the amazing shirt? Design. Gooby Goober. That's Madoka's name. Mm -hmm. Goopy. It's Goopy. Oh, she looked up. <laughs> you like, what? 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 That is me. I am Goop. Hello, I am the Goop. I am the Goop dog. I can't believe we did a hundred days of this shit. Sorry. <laughs> oh, <that's> sassy. <laughs> Holy. Have I not made my opinions of a hundred days clear <laughs> at this point? <laughs> this stoof. This stoof. It's bad, guys. It's a long challenge. It's like a ding dang long char char challenge. 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 Are you guys into Dungeon and Dragon or tabletop RPGs? I wish. Mm -hmm. We want to get into those, but man, that's a lot of brain power, and we just we just agree on things. How do you feel about having two hundred days worth of web comic creation under your belt? Tired. Hmm. Very Never tired. gonna do it again. Yep. <laughs> That's the end. Never again will we do this challenge. I love D and D. D and D commissions as we speak. I want to do like a Patreon D and D, but like later <laughs> when I <laughs> In a bit. recover. Yeah. I think that'd be fun. Definitely. I feel like you said that last time. Y'all said never again last time, so I'm a little sus. Did I? I did. I'm not doing it again. Because, like, man, um, Inktober was enough for me. I, heck that. I know how to DM D, dab dab. I've DM'd games. I'm just, I haven't looked at real books in forever. <laughs> so much work. I like just making stuff up. Just <laughs> don't you, Ursula? Yeah. Yeah. We like the little written out. Um. I like doing choose your own adventures. Those are fun. Yeah. Turning y'all into witches. What crashed again? Oh no. No. Don't be that. 
Okay, don't, don't jump on now, cats. okay? I know when I'm gone, you guys just sit up there and it's fine. But you annoy me. Lear. Lear. I have the chicken. Look. Look, it's right here. Come here. Come get your chicken. Come get your chicken, sir. You're not getting one. You didn't even come when you were called. I'm back. Happy noises. Hello? Hello. Do you want to be our maid? <laughs> Hello. It's free. Look, charge. You, you, you get to hang out with us. <laughs> Strings attached. I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, no. Sneeze. <laughs> 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 Sneezes are so cute. Thank you. Okay. Okay, we doing this. What are we doing? Is we that your this. coffee maker yeah. doing those noises? Mm -hmm. Is it okay? Yeah. Hello, Tuesday. It has an automatic shut off, so eventually it'll it'll stop. Anyone here want to be, wants to be, or is a world builder? I build a world. My sneezes are as man manly as hell. My dad refuses to sneeze. What? He, he will just like stop them from coming out. <sighs> which is like the least satisfying thing. He hates the feeling of sneezing. What? Right? Sneeze it's the best, best feeling ever. He just goes like, like that. Like holds them in. What? Yeah. You've never seen my dad sneeze? No. It's unsettling. Yeah. That's weird. He's a monster. Definitely. World Avril. I hate sneezes for some reason. They always scare me. I sneeze a lot. Like, I have photosensitive sneezing, which no one believes exists, but totally exists. Where if you see the sun, you sneeze. So I sneeze a lot. <laughs> it's like direct light in your eyes, and you sneeze. I got weirded out by the thing. I watched Game Grumps. But you can't, you can't make your eyes do a pan unless they're following something. Really? Like, if you try to, like, just scan across the room, but if you do this, you can follow it. I feel like I'm scanning across the but room. But it, it goes, like, tick, tick, tick. Oh. Yeah. Did huh. you try it? Yeah. You can't get, like, a smooth pan, but if you track... It's, it's weird. <laughs> if you track Brain. an object, you can. I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> Also, how your eyes make motion blur happen. Yeah. He's just getting rid of all the background noise. Ah, go buy a pen. <laughs> Get rid of it. <laughs> Hello, Ace of Pan. Cakes. Hello. <laughs> Luckily, bones, skeletons don't have noses. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> There's a still little, a nose bone. There's a little well, nose hole. It's not even a hole. There's like a little... There's a bone which connects to your cartilage. Hmm. Like, look, if you look at the sheep skull, you can see it yeah. extended mm -hmm. in in that kind of way. Right. Yeah. It's like the nasal cap. There's like a little, like... Like, what do you... You don't break the cartilage. You break your nose bit. Really? I thought you broke the cartilage if you break your nose. I, I mean... I know there's like a little bone in your nose. It's not like a extended out. Like I, we're gonna fight, and then someone's gonna be right, and it's gonna be annoying. It's gonna annoy me because you guys are right and I'm wrong. Cause yeah. Well, also side note: cartilage is a bone. Oh, okay. It's just a soft bone, right? Yeah. Because yeah. there's bony fish. It, yeah, like, yeah. cartilage is, like, it's different, but. Yeah. Superior and inferior nasal.
conches. Is that what they're called? Yeah, okay. Can confirm there's nose bones. Thank you. Okay. I'm not crazy. Thank you. Thank you so much, cat. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Did you see it? You see it? There's nose bones. Oh, okay. Like your nose like these this if you if you look at skulls, like they extend out, like it's not Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Yeah. It's like right up there, yeah. It's like a broken toe, there's not much you can do. Yeah. X ray. It's like a, a broken nose x ray. Yeah, see? Broken nose, you break the bone. Oh. Yeah. Okay. We are correct. I learned a thing today. Mm -hmm. Are we talking about skeletons again? Yes. You never stop talking <laughs> about skeletons. I'm always happy when I'm right about a thing, so thank, thank goodness. Thank goodness. I just spend enough time collecting and looking at skulls that I feel like I should be correct on this. Because, like, I like skulls, guys. I'm a skull collector. I haven't gotten new skulls, and I want a new one for my birthday. I'm going to buy myself a skull. No. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Let's see. What, what new skulls are available? Narwhal skull. $2,000. Oh, that one's really cheap. There's a Pine Martin. For 20 bucks. Beaver skull. I offer you my skull. Thank you. <laughs> Clean it up and send it to me. We do have tiny bones in our ears. That is true. They're the smallest bones in the body. I love these so much. Oh. <laughs> that would be pretty cool to have. They're like taxidermy crows on top of ram skulls. It's very aesthetic. Yeah. Expensive, but yeah. amazing. It seems Bone seems like he'd walk in on Ursula putting kitty stickers on a skull. <laughs> like you boop. And a sparkle sticker for you. <laughs> No, I come back to my cats, knocking them off the shelves. And eating them. They don't eat them. They just sit around them. Mm. They've knocked them off and they'll like bat them around. <laughs> Thankfully, like skulls are pretty durable. Yeah. <laughs> because it's, they're skulls. You know. They feel so delicate, but they're pretty tough. Uh, you know how much Bone supports Ursula when he has the Patreon supporter role on Discord, but Ursi doesn't. You have the Patreon supporter role? I do. <laughs> do I? Do you? Huh. <laughs> I do. <laughs> He's supporting our Patreon. Oh, I know why I have it. It's because heck Mark and- no, not Mark, June. Heck June. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I like- I, went, I was collecting the interest. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it was all to get cats! It goes all the way to the top! <laughs> yeah, you get major cat boosts as a patron. <laughs> my skull is very bad quality. I'm told constantly that I was dropped on my head as a baby. No! I have like a, I have like a square spot <laughs> on my head. Like of this perfect, like, you know it's the so one? so weird. I know exactly what you mean. My skull isn't really round. It has like a flat spot. I'm gonna give you a little pat. <laughs> I get you a skull for your birthday, but I think you own all the cheaper ones. <laughs> uh, I don't. I have a, there's like a Pine Martin skull that's 20 bucks right now, and I'm like eyeing it. Oh, they have Lynx skulls, Ursula. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, that's so cool. It's 95 bucks, not bad. Ooh. Not bad for, I considering just, cat skulls are 75. I know. I want just a cat skull. The Lynx skull's really cool. Because I want, like, all the Canada animals. Ooh, a whole pleco. Please wait. What's going on? Okay, so I want to introduce love interest by having him whoosh over the cafe. 
his date Three is o'clock. on on scooters and breaking stuff. <laughs> That's an amazing meat cute. That is a very good meat cute. Ten out of ten. Meat moot. Meat moot. Moot moot. Moot moot. Meat moot. Sunsking. Freaking bat skulls are so oh, tiny. Babies. Little fruit bat skulls. I love. They're so cute. Oh, they're my babies. Guys, I love bats. Bats are pretty great. <laughs> if Ursula ever left for a week, she'd come back to their home covered in skulls. You know, she leaves every day and I stare at things and sometimes I buy. Sometimes I come home and he's like, I bought oh, a cat that's tree. that's so cool but so expensive and I wouldn't want it. But like, it's a fetal skeleton. Ugh, that's creepy. So weird. <laughs> that's very weird. That is an eclectic like, person. That shouldn't stand up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that way. <laughs> it reminds me of that teddy bear that's like outside someone's lawn near us that just looks like a... Like a sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> oh god, that thing is terrible. It's so creepy. A mongoose, a civet. What's going on? Rate this meat love interest on McKay and Gray. That's a bad meat cute. That, that's a terrible meat mm. cute. I, like I bet s- that would be a 50% cute couple. <laughs> As in one of them's cute, but not the other one. Yeah. yeah. I want one of these <laughs> so bad. It preserves, like, the blood, like, the vessels. <sighs> It's like a python. It's so cool. It like makes all of the flesh translucent. Whoa. Yeah, it's so cool. Whoa. You have to supply your own liquid when it shows up and put it in a bottle. <laughs> but they have like fish and stuff in them. The skulls are cool, but I think I'd cry if I had a real one. They're pretty cool. It's, I, it's very surreal because I know sometimes I look at them and I'm like, that's like a plaster skull. That's not real. But eh. It's real. It's real. They're very, it's, they feel weird, like they feel fake. Oh, they have fox faces. Hmm. Oh, there's an otter skull. <gasps> On sale, too. Hmm. Otter skulls are really cool. Mark isn't that bad. <laughs> June, how dare you? Look at that. Oh, that's crazy teeth. They're like so much bigger than like the other skulls. Yeah. You big boys. My thing is, like, I don't have many unique skulls now, because, like, I have two canines. It's like, you get another canine, you're like, eh, yeah. Oh, scrap fur. That's a really pretty one. I met my date mate on the Discord, and we both cute. God bless. That's such a cute name, date mate. That's like, um, date friend, or, like, your envy. S.O. Oh, yeah, date friend. What awkward moment. When she discovers your secret skull collection. A resin feline skull mask. Dude. Are we talking real skulls? Yeah. Yeah. Real They're skulls. like um Canadian wildlife skulls we get from a Yeah. Like a store that gets them humanely. Not hum uh ethically source. Ethically, that's it. I mean, I guess it's humane, but yeah. it depends. Oh, uh, yeah. True. Oh, my God. Ethically sourced. It's Penis skulls. crystals. <laughs> no! <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> Fine, maybe <with> arrowheads. <laughs> fetal kitten. It's Whoa. Like, it's like a deionized fetal kitten. Whoa. So you can see, like, the flesh is gone, but you... Whoa. Yeah. I don't like that. That one's weird. It's so cool. <laughs> I just want jars of weird things. <laughs> to line your potion shop. Yes. Bones, no. Why am I not allowed fun? <laughs> Mark's envy term for me is creature. <laughs> My creature. That's not an envy term. That's just a term for you. <laughs> Ooh, spring box skulls. The problem is stuff with date, and it makes me think of the fruit. <laughs> <laughs> My date friend. They are a date. Exploded cat skull. Well. Quails. Where Quails are you on shopping sales. right now? 
The Skull Store. Yeah, it's it's a Toronto based store called the Skull Store. They always go to a fan expo. I should have gone. Ugh. Just for the skulls. For real. No. You could you... also just go to the store. That's true. Anytime. It's cheaper. Soon their home will be full of skulls. It's already full of skulls. I have a question. If you ever go on my streams, I'll show you all the skulls. Sorry, what? I have a question. What? Is the werewolf friend, um, what, what are the pronouns? He, him. He, him? Wait, sorry, the werewolf friend, the other werewolf? Yeah, yeah, the, the, I don't know. the third character. Also, their pronouns doesn't determine their gender. Sorry, what's their gender? Yeah, um, I don't know. Whatever you want. Hmm. Doesn't matter. They never, they don't even talk. That's true. They're just in the background. Bismuth happy leaves. <laughs> I don't want to leave. Homophobia? What, what about homophobia? Huh? And still won't let me upload a gift. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is this going to be a mini comic or a bigger project? Uh, it's a mini comic for Moonlight, which is an anthology I... I'm running and will be on Kickstarter. Yeah. So October 13th. October 13th. The full moon. In most of the world, except for Australia. You guys. <laughs> you guys on the 14th or the something. Oh, that's really cool. It's it's a half and half bat. <gasps> Yo. It's like half the taxidermy and then half skeleton. Dude. Living it up. Wow, oh, it's not as expensive as I thought it would be. <laughs> Poor Aussies. Hacking Aussies. I love you guys for buying my comics. You guys buy so many of them, but like I send them to you and you're like, where are they? And I'm like, you were across the globe. It takes months for it to show up. I'm sorry. I'm trying to fix it, but there's like not much I can do. It's really expensive. Thankfully, when I do like big kickstarters that's one of the reasons i like kickstarter is i can get bulk deals on shipping which makes it so much easier to ship to you guys are we playing games today yeah but we're gonna stay late i think today mm -hmm. yeah so. i think we're gonna play drawful yes yeah. ace is the only one who voted so oh. unless there's been more messages and i haven't that's seen true. them one of these days i am gonna buy some human bones <laughs> they're gonna show up and it's gonna be like and I don't want this. <laughs> Yeet. Get this out of here. Can I get a disart? <gasps> There's a whole caribou skeleton. I just need my entire uh, life savings. <laughs> That's all. That's all? That's all. It'd be so big. Drawful, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I need a red squirrel skeleton. I need it. Need it. Require it. I just want, I need like a shelf. I want human bones in the garden, <laughs> never mind. On the maid offer. <laughs> There's like a tiny little clause at the end of the contract that's like, I can sense to be <laughs> turning into a skeleton. I want to do an anthology, but I doubt I'd be able to find one that isn't fan comic based. Oh, you want to submit to an anthology? Yeah, mm -hmm. you gotta keep your ear to the ground. Yeah. If we do really well, I'm gonna do like a second moonlight i think but i have to do really well why are there blue pig skulls why am i still looking at this i want like a human skull that's like just resin because it's way cheaper and more ethical <laughs> <laughs> so you'd be fine with like human skull replicas yeah but you don't want an actual skull because that could be haunted i know yeah <laughs> Also, it's just kind of weird. Yeah. What if it's someone you know? No. I'd want that even less. I want your skull. <laughs> I don't want a tombstone. I just want your skull on my mantle. Okay, I'll put that in my final will and testament to give okay, you my skull. thank you. There's more bats. There's a lot of bats. Bats are. Thanks. I want to do a fan con... When you know art, but you art. 
be easy to cover up a murder if you own non-murder related bones. Probably not. They'd probably just take the whole collection and put it through DNA testing. Yeah, they would just test them all. Because that would be perfect. Also, you, you don't even DNA. have to DNA, DNA test them. If you're collecting skulls, oh. dental record, you're done. There you go. You're like, why is this one missing teeth? And you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah. They can tell a lot from just a skull. <laughs> they know who it is. That's true. They can reconstruct the face from a skull. Yeah. Basically, basically, don't think you can get away with murder unless you do a lot of research. But years, years, years before you do it. Because if you've been researching murder <laughs> before you commit a murder, that will just make it first degree murder. <laughs> True. Because <laughs> if you're researching it, they're like, okay, so you intended to kill this person. Mm-hmm. Okay, good to know. It's not the 60s anymore. Yeah. Can't get away with good old murder. Yeah, you can. Don't do murder, guys. Oh, that's really cool. It's a whole mammal. It's an American mammal set. Mm-hmm. For $175. Yeah. The thing is, like, most of the stuff is just garbage. <laughs> like, I'm buying garbage. There's a beaver, red fox, par martin, and short tailed weasel. All ones I don't have. Mm hmm. <laughs> Write those down for me. Okay. And we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. The medical grade skull. Hyenas have weird skulls. <laughs> Just looking up how to get away with murder for making it look like an accident. <laughs> Darn it, I guess I can't murder. Is Ursula drawing me? Yes. Um. Bup, bup, bup. We were talking, because when we were watching all those murder shows, if anyone had, like, if any of the suspects had, like, a weird thing. Like, like any sort of uncommon, not weird, uncommon not, mm, hobby. <laughs> they like, would just make a whole thing out of it. Yeah. Like, if you play video, video games, games or D&D. Halo caused them to murder. Oh, right. It's like, I don't think that's what caused it. <laughs> a murder simulator. <laughs> Desensitizing him by playing video games. It's like, what? But what about the millions of people who play video games and don't murder? No. No. No, no. No, no. <laughs> we have to worry about this one guy. There was also one where it's like, she was into true crime podcasts. There was. Or true crime shows. And it's like, you're a true crime show. <laughs> Uncommon puppy plot twist. The puppy was used to kill the victim. It's pigs, right? That's what you use. Yeah. See anything? So they did catch that one guy because they found remains in the pig pens. That's what I mean. You put, you go on a vacation, <laughs> and they don't come back with you on the vacation. That guy never got caught. It's crazy. <laughs> He's still free. Because there's no body. Because in in the jungle, bodies disappear within weeks. Jeez. And he got to go on vacation. <laughs> like, I think he got in prison, but he couldn't get in prison for murder. Like, huh. that's usually what they do. You usually get, like, a small sentence because they catch you on something else. Hmm. They're like, your tire's flat. <laughs> that's how they got me for my murder. I'll eat a body for someone, too. <laughs> So what's your opinion on body, on doing a body section? Oh my god, I would read that book. Ursula, or sorry, Bones was murdered centuries ago, but his skeleton was brought to life after Ursula performed a ritual summon. <laughs> That's the best meat cute. There's a lot of murder and crimes on cruise ships because of jurisdiction junk. Yeah. Also because old people die on cruise ships. <laughs> like, it's the perfect place to kill your, um... Like, if you're, like, a cute young person that marries old people for their money and you go on a cruise and they have a heart attack so many people have heart attacks on cruises and there's no way to really save them and it's just kind of common <laughs> like um cruise ships have morgues Whoa. on them 
I mean, I guess it makes sense. Because it's so con- like especially ah! like the long ones. Jeez, Louise. They have like um frid- fridges for the bodies. Ooh. Can you imagine it's your especially- first day on the new cruise ship job? <laughs> like long, cause long trips. Some people will go on cruises instead of retiring because oh, yeah. it's cheaper. Heard so of they that. eventually are going to die on their cruise ship. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they'll go on like a year long cruise and not expect to end the cruise. Oh. Woof. Let's do that. Bodyception. I meant comicception. Cruise ship. Morgue. Hidden decks, morgues, and five other cruise ship secrets. There's a morgue. Most large ships have a designated morgue in case passenger passes away during sailing. They also have body bags if death occurs. They're prepared to hold a body or bodies there until the ship reaches port large enough to make arrangements. Death at sea is the most common on lines that carry a large percentage of elderly passengers. Mm. Makes sense. On a cruise we went on, there was some, there was like a couple that had a fight and Mm -hmm. the, was it the husband who just like left and went hiding somewhere? Yeah. But he threatened to jump off the boat so the wife thought he, he had. Yeah. And so they turned the boat around to go look for him and then he appeared like, what? I didn't do it. And then they both got kicked off the boat. Yeah. In Mexico, (laughs) In Mexico. (laughs) Like, you're going home on your own. (laughs) To figure it out. Don't pull this crap. (laughs) Because I remember waking up because the boat was shaking in the middle of the night, and I was like, what is that? (laughs) And it turns out because the boat was turning around. I forget. Like, next time I'm on a cruise, I'll make sure to be, like, really kind to, like, whoever, like, the the staff are. Mm. Because I, I didn't realize how long they stay with you. Like, it's like the one person. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I wasn't mean to the staff because no, I'm no. Canadian. No, no. But, like... We're shy. But, like, man... <laughs> he, I did talk to him a few times. Yeah. I was like, hey, dude. Because they, like, live on the cruise ship. Mm-hmm. And they know all about you. We had the one, um... The crew party's harder than the passengers. <laughs> <laughs> well, my, my old bosses used to work on cruise ships. Um... He was like... <laughs> Sup, Bursky. Not much. Talking about murder, you know. You know. Oh, no. A lot of kids drown in pools on cruise ships because they don't have any lifeguards. They drown at sea, but not in the ocean. Oh, yeah. Well, drowning is one of those things that, like, everyone thinks they recognize because of television but they don't because drowning doesn't look like drowning Mm -hmm. yeah drowning doesn't look like what you think it is it's very still it's very still it and the person's not underwater yeah they're right up right at the water line with their like mouth and up to the pointed to the air yeah yeah it's just like right there yeah it's scary it's very still so keep your eyes out for that like, anyone who's not moving. <laughs> the first person who didn't ask what the frick is a broski. Who doesn't know what a broski is? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a lot of comic works. Goodbye. Thank you for coming Ooh. by, June. You almost fell off a boat during a cruise? Heck. Good lord. they've got like secret codes for like dead bodies like like code black or something stupid Mm. of course learn what those are yeah there's so many people on a cruise oh yeah it's crazy it was so overwhelming when you got on great and you can't go back to your room yet yeah. Oh, and everyone's on the food, and I'm like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I know. 
Yeah. I'd at least be better now. Oh, this is really cute. It's a crow feather ornament. Oh. It has like a whole bunch of crow feathers That's in so it. so cool. Sorry. Um, well, I hate, I hate water too, but like cruise ships are nothing like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, you don't feel like you're out sea. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you go out, and even then. I never got off the cruise ship. It was good enough. I did once. <laughs> it wasn't worth it. It yeah. was just really hot. And yeah. I would prefer an Alaskan cruise, but they're way more expensive. Yeah. But sounds way more up my alley. McCann Gray Alaskan cruise. <laughs> All our rich followers and us. Come on, let's go. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. We'll get a group discount. It'll be great. Or so goes quiet. Oh, sorry, I'm focusing. That's okay. Um, <laughs> he was an indentured servant, so not technically expendable. I'm probably drunk at the time. He fell off the Mayflower. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm related to a pirate. All right. Yeah. Explains a lot. <laughs> we say that all the time like our whole family <laughs> we're related to Cap I'm related to Captain Morgan the guy on all the rum bottles <laughs> he wasn't a good person no <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't didn't like being called a pirate he was like a buccaneer a privateer yeah that's when you're a pirate but you're employed by the yeah the crown <laughs> yeah a whole, whole bunch of horrible things. To do all of them murders. Yeah, I gotta run to the washroom. Conquistador. Very cool. Hi. I forgot that I have to keep everything alive. Um. Oh no. I'm overwhelmed. Are you guys overwhelmed? Because I'm overwhelmed. Who is... I'm related to Redacted. You can do it, Boom. I don't know. Man. Life is hard when you're a ninja block. Furbies are cursed. I'm tired and gotta work on my Furby. I'm overwhelmed from chemistry homework, if that counts. Chemistry homework is a lot. I don't blame you for being overwhelmed. Furby flesh. I'm excited to see your Furby soul. Did you get your book yet or is it on the way? I keep like checking to see like who's who's received the night uh the honey walls Kickstarter at this point. Did you do you get a spine? I don't know, I've gotta check. BRB. I don't think shipments come on the weekends, do they? I don't know what, how it works with in America. Sure doesn't work that way here. Most of the Canadians got theirs. I know most of the... I, I feel like all of the Canadian and American shipments should be done being sent on Monday and Tuesday. I don't have spine yet. Must use wire. Oh, you gotta get a spine. I can offer spine. I never checked the mail, so if it arrived yesterday, I wouldn't know. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. Thank you. It's been a long time. 
It's been a long, 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 long. I feel like the werewolf. Kind of boring. Kind of. Just spice them up a bit. Yeah. Get rid of their shirt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That'll spice it up. Spicy. The ultimate spice is shirtless werewolves. He <laughs> named the Furby Serotonin. Is it going to be a working long furb or is it just going to be like a long furb that like doesn't work? Both are valid. I'm just yeah. wondering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your favorite cryptid? Oh no, the question's the spirit. I'm sorry. I won't answer. Um, to be honest, I'm so happy that I clicked on this video while well, I was on the little sidebar of videos. Oh, well, thank you for clicking on the video. Yeah. Hope you are enjoying. Mm -hmm. I'm not good enough with electronics to keep her working. <laughs> Furby abs. <laughs> how many? How many abs does a long Furby have? As many as it needs. How many abs does a snake have? <laughs> do snakes have abs? Do snakes <laughs> have bones? Yes, they have bones. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> The it auto complete. What's our favorite cryptids? Snakes have abs to die for. <laughs> How many abs do snakes? Well, I guess it depends on the snakes. Yeah. How, How many does like a garter snake? How many have? abs do snakes have? <laughs> 300 abs! <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> 150 each contains two abs. Oh my god, a 300 pack. So how many abs does a long furb have? It's <laughs> amazing. Many tiny abs. 300. <laughs> we'll beat you up. <laughs> Many tiny abs. I'm not six, impressed. Six, six, six. I'm not impressed by anyone until they have a 300 pack. <laughs> I want a really, I want a snake with 300 abs. Just like, <laughs> no arms, just like, like a normal, like, human body, but like mm. endless abs. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want. Get wrecked, as the kids say. So if, I, so if I make a snake person OC, they have a 300 pack. It's true. Yes, they do. They squeeze you with their abs. Squeeze, squeeze. <laughs> so I'm very delighted by this. The ultimate flex. <laughs> I like that you can draw furries now. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Me too. I have snake people, but they don't have many abs yet. <laughs> when you a scrawny snake and then you get ripped. <laughs> Careful who you mean to in middle school. <laughs> See that snake? He got 300 swole ass abs. <laughs> Ursula, how would you react if I saw a werewolf at home playing with puppies? I think that would be pretty cute. The scalies will hear about this information. <laughs> My main snake person is a soft boy. I like that you all have a snake person. This makes me very you, happy. Why didn't you tell me this sooner, guys? <laughs> it's because they're all sneeple. <laughs> How do you tell if someone's a sneeple? Lip up their shirt, count the abs. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait a minute. <laughs> it just keeps going. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't have a snake, people. I'm a bee person. 
Well. What's a sneakle? A snake person from Steven Universe. <laughs> I have a dragon person. But he's one of my comic characters. Snake people. Snake. Snake. Snake, snake. This the werewolf needs to be um, taller. Um, snake, snake. Oh, someone did the kombucha thing for Inktober. <laughs> <laughs> mm, Inktober is not happening this year. No, sorry, guys. It's canceled. Shh. The whole thing. But we're going to make a video about whether or not we're doing Inktober, and the answer's going to be no. <laughs> yeah, it's just Spoiler too, alert. too much after 100 days for taking a break. Yeah. Not like a huge break from YouTube, but just a break from long ass challenges. I don't challenges. Even know what's happening after. I don't know. We'll don't, figure it out. We'll figure Oh, guys. We're gonna take a break first. Don't worry. We're gonna take a break to recalculate. Hell yeah. Recalibrate. Snake people and terrifying eyes. Furby people. I feel like dragons would have less abs than snakes because it's a noodle dragon. Unless it's a noodle dragon. Very true. Mm. How many abs do lizards have? Because they, yeah, snakes, snake abs are basically their legs. Yeah. And arms. They hug you with their abs. Oh... Many abs do lizards have? I know lizards is a really big group, but we can get a general idea. How many abs do lizards have? No answers. There's no answers, guys. Jazz is for old people. Get out of my house. <laughs> I don't really like jazz all that much. No. Okay. Did you know that one skink is the... There's one specific skink, and it's the only reptile to have a placenta. That's crazy. Yeah, which means it's completely unrelated to mammals, and it's like the only animal outside of animals... Uh, outside of mammals that has a placenta. That's crazy. I know. Placenta. It's an organ that delivers um, nutrition to a baby. Because mm -hmm. most um, live bearing, like snakes and fish, it's basically they hold eggs inside of them and then the eggs like have like soft shells when they hatch and they come out and they, like they're alive as opposed to laying eggs and then letting them hatch outside of the body. But this this skink has a placenta, which means it eats, and that nutrition is delivered to the babies. Heck. Yeah. It's the only skink that is like this. There you go. Do they have a belly button? Is that how that works? Basically. All... Most animals don't have belly buttons. Dogs have belly buttons, but they're like flat they're not innies or outies they're they're flatties <laughs> yeah like most animals have flatties instead of belly buttons i don't know what that is with humans it's weird isn't it mm -hmm. humans are just weird humans are weird how many animals have belly buttons i love the internet same <laughs> answer my questions Well, since all my that will have belly buttons. <gasps> Whales have belly buttons. That's adorable. Why don't other animals have belly buttons like ours? Belly buttons are a curious feature of the human physique. They stick out. They stick in. They collect lint. Yeah, they do. Especially if you have a hairy one. <laughs> yeah, I don't collect much lint in my belly button. <laughs> Pre-T, no lint. Post-T, lint. <laughs> That's one of those that's one of those testosterone lessons they don't put on the box. They don't put on the box. <laughs> Will gets more lint. Um, they're even home to entire ecosystems of microbes. Dang. Why don't other animals have belly buttons? Uh, the, uh, however, belly buttons on squirrels, tigers, and even whales aren't noticeable as your belly button. To know why, you have to first understand the few basics. 
Mammals are divided into three groups. We all know this, right? We obviously know that there's three groups of mammals. There's... What are the three groups of mammals? Uh, there's... So there's the like, placentile. Yeah. There's... Oh, what are they called? <laughs> the Australian ones. <laughs> the... The... They're possums and kangaroos. Marsupials. Yep. And there's the ones that are platypuses and echidnas, and I forget what that is called. Uh, monotremes. Monotremes. <laughs> okay, yeah. So there's these <laughs> ones. So only placental mammals are going to have belly buttons. Uh, marsupials will not. Um, before they are born, they're given these traits. Uh, placental mammals make up the vast majority of mammals. These are the ones that will have belly buttons. Placental mammal females carry unborn in the room nourished through placenta. The placenta attaches to the fetus, blah, blah, blah. Why is our belly button different? When fully developed offspring are born, the mother typically cuts the umbilical cord using her teeth. What is left behind is a scar, often flatter and smaller than the scar left on us humans. That didn't answer the question. It gets to the end, and you know what the answer is? It's different. <laughs> is it because they chew it, like, all the way down to the skin or something? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, because we can, like, surgically remove the umbilical cord. <laughs> Why do, do dogs have belly buttons? They do. Like, everyone has flat... Where are their belly buttons? Because that's where the belly button is on a dog. You see it? Yeah. Yeah, it's right in there. It makes mm -hmm. sense. Unless they hemorrhage, like, they don't have one. Like, why do humans have belly buttons and no one else... Why are humans... The only... animal with ugly ass belly buttons. <laughs> Why? Why? I don't understand this. Why this? The Australian ones. Why are humans so dang weird? Why don't... Yeah, but... Why? Okay, whales have the little white spot. What? Why don't they have weird belly buttons? There's a there's this ana werewolf anatomy on DeviantArt. Have you seen it? I don't know. Why do humans have fake stomach holes? Trying to werewolf anatomy. There's a lot of them, so you're gonna have to be really specific. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's that was... your feet. I thought I was an animal throwing up. I was like, no! No, it's me doing a splish splash, taking a bath. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> splish splash. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. What if you did, like, limited palettes? Limited palettes? Yeah. I was actually just thinking that. I was like, maybe I should use, like, the trans flag colors. That's gay. Listen. A little too over the top. That's too much. Yeah, it also feels too binary. Jaren's flag's really binary. Mm. Also, how would our um, ace flag show up? <gasps> oh yeah, you're right. Just make it all purple. <laughs> no, no barking. It's Don't rude. Don't you're on it. stream. You can't yell. Contain Don't, yourself. Medica, stop. I see your tail is super up right now. Do you want a piece of candy? 
You want to treat? You want to treat? Come here. I'll give you a chicken. I'll give you a chicken if you come here. You're not over... That's... I'm not Ursula. Did you know that I'm the one... Get over here where I am. You're stupid. <laughs> you bother me. Mask fan and me from the mask. Would you drop a link here? But I can't. I am great. Bones yelling. Don't yell. <laughs> <laughs> Don't yell. Doesn't Bones have a pocket full of raw chicken? <laughs> <laughs> it's not raw. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, God. Ah, who's licking me? Stop. <laughs> Lear just likes to come up and drink my foot bath. Annoying. He's so annoying. He's like, give me chicken, link, link. Link, 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 give me chicken. I lick your legs. Meow, meow, meow. Who's licking me? It's <laughs> a mood in our house. Oh, God. Stop! I don't have any for you. Give me the chicken. chicken Why do you still nuggies. have a burr on you? Here, clean up. <laughs> Get the burr out of your fur. Stop. Is that why they're called burrs? Because they're in Burrs. Your fur. Sorry, my cat just jumped into my lap like a little butthole. He's such a butthole. He's so annoying. If any of our animals were a butthole, I'd be there. Are you seeing this face? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, he's, he's so cute. He's so tolerant. He's, he's a tolerant butthole. He's a handsome boy. See, he's not a butthole. Buttholes aren't handsome. I'm gonna talk to my boyfriend about look at how ass. handsome he is. <laughs> he's so handsome. <laughs> oh, he loves. I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> he loves you the most, though. You gave him cheeky nuggies. <laughs> That's all. That that's all I am to him. He just rubs on me and Your chicken snuggles and purrs, and he's like, "Give me chicken." Yep. You pet me, yeah, I get chicken. And then he's like, <laughs> licks my. I'll be like sitting on the couch, and then suddenly someone's licking my cheek, and it's like him. And then he like crawls onto my shoulder and just like goes purr purr. Purr purr purr. And if I give him chicken, he gets worse. <laughs> Stop. I <laughs> think the chicken never gets shaped like dinosaur. No, it's just like dry chicken strip stuff. It's like jerky for dogs, but our cats eat everything. He's drooling. Why oh are you God. drooling? What is, what is your deal, bud? Go away. Give, You're gross. Give me chickies. Don't drool on me. It's gross. Chickies. Ugh. Nasty. Nasty. Six nasty kitty. Zero out of ten. <laughs> hey. So what's the ace flag's colors? What are what are the exact codes for this? Because there's black and then a whole bunch of grays and then purple. Yeah. Oh, black, gray, white. Tint you purple. could do um, a black and white kind of gray comic and then have highlights of like purple and other mm, things. That'd be cute. That's the arrow flag. It's oh, the green. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Trash cans got you covered. Thanks. I just wanted to know the particular purple because there's lots of different purples that exist. I'm different purples. Yo, I'm different purples. I'm Ace Owo. Oh, hello. Hello. Meow, meow, I was taking a bath. Meow, 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 meow. I'll make the werewolves, like, purple. The werewolves purple? Yeah, for the dark, make it purple. Oh, hell yeah. 
Very slow. Will the price of your printing color comic decrease if the colors are close to each other? Okay. No. No. Except. Okay. <laughs> printing is complicated. Okay. Um, because you get, it depends on how you're printing. If you're printing like a regular comic, if you use one ink color, you're fine. Like you can use black or you can use a different color. You'd have to talk to specific printers about this. For digital printing, it's not going to matter. Um, for digital printing, black is one thing and then color is another thing. It doesn't matter. But for uh, CMYK printing, you can use, like, um, if you're just using one plate and a specific color, you're fine. Um, for, there's different types of printing where you, you use um, different Pantones, and that's different, too. Because if you have, like, neon colors, you need to go through a specific printer and not CMYK, because you can't achieve, achieve certain neons through it or gold like metallics and things so yeah it really depends on which type of printer you're going to yeah. but know those in advance if you're doing that if you're dealing with cmyk and just or digital printing um that then it doesn't matter if it's color it's color if it's black and white it's black and white <laughs> yeah there you go that's my secrets for you super secrets because if you had black, white, and a, another CMYK color, you'd be fine, but it's different. Because mm -hmm. if you were doing a, a mono, a, like a, a monochrome comic, you wouldn't have black. You would have really saturated blue, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You have to talk to your printers, though. There you go. There you go. Super ace comic. Hell yeah. So ace. I feel like his shoes should purple. I feel like she needs more purple on her. Give her a purple bow. Like in her hair? Yeah. Ooh. Splish splash, I will take on a bath. Wow, 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 wow. Like this? Yes. Yes. Bigger. Bigger? Yeah. Make it feel like the round, like her, you know? Hmm. Yes. She looks like Kiki. I know. She's like goth Kiki. Vampire Kiki. There we go. <laughs> it's gonna be a wig. It's gonna be a wiggly that says trans rights things. start paint, painting a trans jacket. That sounds really cool. That's awesome. I'm afraid, but I believe in myself. Glitch. I believe in you too. Heck ace yeah. Kiki. <laughs> There's nothing really explicitly ace, so we just gotta make the whole comic ace color. Hell yeah. <laughs> ace as heck. Everyone is ace. A story. 30 Ooh, days challenge. Um, I don't know. November is far away. Let me figure out what's happening in my life before I reach that. Does she have little socks or maybe like tights? Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's really cute. Okay. I like the tights. Here we go. There's a good balance of the purple everywhere. Good. Let's start making the comic. Oh, damn. I guess you could design the settings. True. Be a good idea. Mm -hmm. helps out in the long run. It does. Because there's two settings, so it's not that bad. Why do I have to do all this prep work? Uh. Because it's a good idea. <laughs> but who wants to do prep work? I mean, you kind of sounded like you knew what was happening in the Day 98 video. <laughs> <laughs> it was false bravado. <laughs> I don't know all the way into November. That's a long ways away, guys. <laughs> Listen, we're living in the moment. We're in September. Like, calm down. Let us get through October first. Mm -hmm. November is like the second last month of the year. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 
Not ready. Skeletons must have little concept of time. <laughs> Get to draw on those backgrounds. <clears throat> Design the house. Splash, splash, I was taking a bath. Boom, 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 boom. I just imagine, like, go, just, like, in the bath, just going. <laughs> <laughs> Not boom, 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 just. Psh, 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 psh. Slap a slapper. <laughs> God. Have you been seeing all those things going around about magenta not being real? What? It's literally blew my mind. Magenta isn't a real color. Do you want uh -huh. me to explain? Do you want me to read it? Sure. Magenta is evidence of evidence that the brain takes option B. It apparently has constructed a color to bridge the gap between red and violet. Because such a color does not exist in the light spectrum, magenta has no wave wavelength attributed to it, unlike all the other spectrum colors. What? This feels Ma false. Look, 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 look at the thing. Okay. So this is the light spectrum, right? right. Now imagine it as a circle. Our brain creates that gap to fill in. So there's nothing there? Yeah, there's nothing like there. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like it at all. They're not a real person. They're fake. Magenta is a hoax. Magenta is an optical illusion. Visible spectrum wrapped to join violet and red, an additive mixture of magenta. In reality, violet and red are opposite ends of the spectrum and have very different wavelengths. So it's like those two together. You yeah. mix... Yeah, when you mix to make magenta, like, nothing happens. You don't like it. Pink is magic. Right? Oh my god, maybe that's why I like pink so much. Because I need magic. Hey, though, are you here for snuggles? Are you here for snuggles? I think he's here for snuggles. He's got his little paws on me. He's like, please. Give please. Me. Please, that's snuggle. I want all the colors. Get back to arting. No! Fado, why are you distracting her? She's at work. This is what you do at the office, too? You just distract people? Pretty much. I like that he woke up and just threw up everywhere. Yeah, that, that was great. <laughs> that was a great move, Fado. I Thanks for it. that. Thanks for puking on my purse. <laughs> I want to puke into it, but I missed. <laughs> you were trying to puke on my pillow, actually. I want to puke in your hair, actually. Gross. I like puking on you, Mom. You're gross. It's really cool. You're a gross boy. I want to blend smells with you. <laughs> I puke on you. You puke on me. I'll eat it. Ew. He would. No. I should eat your puke. Ew. <laughs> I whisper because it's true. Magenta oh. is real. They're hiding it in Area 51. <laughs> I'm looking at swatches of magenta and frowning. <laughs> I'm like, it has to be real. How do we get magenta paint? It's a real color. It's just... It doesn't it, have a wavelength? It doesn't have a wavelength. It's like a mix. Whoa. What did I do? Hold on. Can I imagine they have... Sorry, I looked at my computer. It just says 300 abs. <laughs> 300 abs. While we're here, let's... Let me develop the love interest. I'm not making your story, Cena. I mean, I get you're, you're sharing your story. Oh, yeah. That's fine. But I can't help you. I You have to pay me. <laughs> it's unfair to the patrons. That's true. Magenta from Blue's Clues is quaking. <laughs> Magenta is a figment of Blue's mind. Ah. Conspiracy theories. Mr. Darcy. I can't push play. I can't trust you. It's going to be copyrighted music. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm looking at Tumblr to see if there's anything interesting to share with you guys. 
Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Show me a good picture. Okay, imagine they've got a cute little uh, apartment. I want it to be cluttered, you know? Cluttered and queer. That's the aesthetic. Hell yeah. They got flags and stuff. How to make um, butterscotch cinnamon pie. I tried and failed. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just really bad at making like that kind of like custard. Mm. It seems difficult. Um, Magenta won't show up in the reboot boot because Blue's imaginary friend and now Blue is CGI. She's grown out of having her best friend. That's not a real friend. Yeah, Bones. I was talking to the chat people. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just being sassy. <laughs> Look at this Lynx point on a pumpkin. <laughs> it's a BB. That's a BB. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> they just like to sit. Okay. You know what? That's fair. That's legit. Let them sit how they want to sit. <laughs> oh, no. I got something for you, Saul. <laughs> <laughs> Your next project. Furbies are really making a comeback. It's weird. They are. What happened? <laughs> oh, God. No, cursed. Yes, beautiful. <laughs> The two genders. I'm dying. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I remember the Blue's Clues video game. Oh my god, I'm tripping. <laughs> so no, don't go to the light. <laughs> We'll give you the right to Strange give us this curse. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, baby. Baby puppy getting the bath. Splash, splash, I was taking a bath. Wow, 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 wow. Meow, 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 meow. Stop it. Bless Thursday. Boy porridge? What? What are you doing? Oh, I love birchers. They're so cute. They're so cute and I want them. You seeing them? They're pretty cute. They've got little flappy legs and flap. They've got lungs too. Are they peach? Yeah, they're like um, a living fossil. Oh, okay. So they just have hands and feet, no legs. <laughs> Heck yeah. Are these guys a couple or are they friends? I can't remember. Who? Uh, the vampire and the they, potential they're, they're friends. They're friends? Maybe a couple. We don't know. Maybe. They sleep in separate beds because we're a couple and we mm. sleep in separate beds. I mean, that's fair. They have touch sensitivity. They don't want anyone touching them. <laughs> Bones, go Google him. He's largely responsible for Furby comeback. There's... Fine, I'll look it up. Oh, yeah, okay. I've seen that Furb. Long Furb. There's so many cute sheep on my dashboard, guys. Heck. And foxes. Foxy foxes. Star Shrek Voyager, what? <laughs> and bugs. The boy, the legend. <laughs> <laughs> meow, meow, 
Get back to drawing. Madoka. Go back to bed. Go back to sleeping. Go back. Go to sleep. sleep. Go sleep. It's just Fado in the kitchen making a sandwich. You can't make sandwiches. You don't have arms. <laughs> Where did her arms go? I don't know. She just has legs. And like, she, they're like little magnets that push her off the floor. Like she's magnet for probably <laughs> push them. She, she like, vroom, vroom. a dog without legs, just abs. It's a snake. <laughs> He's a snake. Tiger bread. <laughs> oh, all our dogs already have eyebrows, though. Yeah, that's true. See, like this is this is less funny because our dogs already have eyebrows like these. <laughs> so, you know, kind of has eyebrows. Oh, she. You're right. She doesn't. She does. She has like cream and then white eyebrows. That's true. My favorite YouTuber ever. I really love your channel. Aww. Will you ever give shout hours? Shout outs? I don't know. Shout out to all of you. Shout out to all y'all for being cute and working on comics. Shout out to Bones McKay. He's a great kid. <laughs> He's going places. Right to bed. <laughs> Hey. Hey. Yeah, thank you for watching. It is very sweet of you to watch. Can my Furby get a shout out? No, your Furby's gonna take over the world. I don't. I'm not gonna bow down to the Furby overlords. I know <laughs> it's coming, and I'm gonna fight. I'm not gonna build them. I'm not. I'm not gonna respond to this Cthulhu-like need everyone has to create long verbs. Cause I know it's a ploy to start creating them. And then, then what next? Then what next, guys? Then what next? We turn around. Saul has a Furby face. <laughs> We're like, oh god! You turn back around. Everyone the else fur has Furby face. Yeah. <laughs> It's happening. It's like 28 days. You wake up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done top surgery. I come out and everyone has Furby faces. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Ovo. Just came back from the nap. Oh, interior design floor plans. Yes. Yes, yes. Me using my free time to write, taking a three hour nap. Press the button. <laughs> Make a wish. <laughs> Don't you dare. That's so good. I'm dying. I want to give them a, like a like a wall art that says like cryptids are valid or something like that. What the frick is my mom sending me, guys? Questions and answers in the chat. <laughs> Perfect for wine-loving moms. Particularly interesting to homes housing an elf. Gluten-free. Because, yes, helping moms get through the holidays. What is this? She rattles on the shelf. Is it a book? <laughs> what is it? Explain this to me. Okay. Description. A new Christmas wine tradition. Place your, your Shiraz on the shelf glass out each night and a magical angel will fill it with wine by morning, <laughs> making holidays bearable. The perfect package gift set including a designed wine glass and hilarious illustrated booklet. Oh my god. Adorable. It's, you put your wine out and then someone fills it. Oh. Mm -hmm. I want that. My freaking mother. <laughs> this would probably make a good Christmas gift for Ursula. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been roasted. 
I just shared this <laughs> sketch. No! <laughs> so she was like, hint, hint, buy for me. Oh my God. <laughs> but no. Oh my god, I'm dying. <laughs> Sorry, I'm missing this. I, I made my thing large, guys, so I can't see the chat anymore. I love your channel. I've been here since since your 19th video. Whoa. Whoa. That was crazy. Makes me want to be a better artist. Oh, that's so wonderful. Bones ruined the surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Shiraz. It's just wine. It's yeah. wine on the shelf. Yeah. Little reindeers. Chablis on the shelf. Wine on the shelf. Fill my wine glass, please. I like that she says you when you're not even a wine drinker. I don't know what you drink wine once in their presence and everyone's like... Oh, they Ursula, offer you, you wine and you say yes and then suddenly you right? love wine wine is your life i know Ugh. like i don't drink <laughs> like ever you drink like once in a blue moon no you love wine apparently <gasps> Sorry, someone just posted a picture of a little hamster in a little cone. Oh no. A little hamster cone. Oh, I think Puppy has to go out. Well, my foot is in the water. But I have to draw. Yeah, but you constantly not drawing. I have to draw. I don't know, I don't want <laughs> <laughs> Let the puppy out. Uh. No your... way for Ursula. <laughs> How dare. I meant wine. <laughs> no wife. No wife. No wife. You're not allowed. The state of Canada says only one husband or wife or they spouse. Ugh. Husband, you can le legally have a they spouse in Canada. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can legally be a they. Non binary is allowed. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's easier to change your your um, gender to non-gendered than it is to switch. You have to get a doctor's note to change it from male to female or female to male. But if you want to just turn it to X, you can just do it. <laughs> can you do it on passports too? Passport X Canada. Choose and update your gender identity. Yeah, can in Canada you can identify as other than male or female on your passport. So there you go. You can turn it from X to the other one. Yeah, you can turn it from M or F into X with like you just you just ask for it and you can change it to a non-binary. Like male to X to female or vice versa. I want to live in Canada. You, well, it's just if your your driver's license would then say gender X or sex X for non-binary. Oh, do you mean like you can change it from X? I think you you ha if it's other than your the one assigned at birth, you have to. I don't know. Could you change it from X into something else? Okay, that sounds more fun. <coughs> Guys, it's Serena. You know who that is. Stop. You're fine. You're fine, buddy. Sorry, but... Potato! 
Tato, stop! We're on stream. You can't be yelling. I'm sorry about the dog yelling. Tato, stop. We are equally annoyed. I'm sorry, guys. Tato, you're rude. Literally shook. Who is Serena? Can we meet Serena? Serena's our puppy. Fado keeps yelling when she comes downstairs. I don't know why. I'm sorry about your ears, guys. We need to get a compressor. For audio. Canada- Frickin' Macs are stupid for it. She's possessed. <laughs> She's possessed, that's why Fado's yelling. Fado's just possessive. That's the real answer. My god, Fado. You hurt everyone in the chat. Fado, go apologize. Come here, Fado. You have to apologize to the chat. Come here. Come. Come up here. Come on, sir. Come, sir. Come up here. Fado is here to apologize. Fado, come here. He's mlumming gently. I have to clean my fish tanks today. Is everyone okay? Have we recovered from Fado bleeding out your ears? I freaking love doggy. Well, that's good. I want to get a sound mixer so that I can do a noise gate and a compressor. <laughs> Fado, stop! Stop. Fado, you gotta be quiet. I will ever will I ever recover? Hello. We forgive you, Fado. <laughs> yeah. Mac audio noise gate. Loud bork for real. It's for real hot. We should start doing games soon. Yeah, you want to do some games? We've been doing lots of stream. Yeah. Yeah. We did extra long for the big game night. Heck yeah. Okay. Who ready for game? Who ready for the games? Oh, oh wait, I can't stick it out of the, the tub until I can dry it. Okay, let's open truffle. Games. Do 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 do. Drawful. Drawful. Be awful. Lawful. Whoa! Chill out. Chill out. So my Fun. phone just screamed. Oh, I'm awake. Hello. Let's spin for some cats. Let's no. do it. I didn't win any cats. God. Let's spin for more cats. I'm not gonna get any. No. Nope. It's hard <laughs> to get cats. It's hard to get cats, guys. We're just waiting for Drawful to show up. Yep. Gotta load it up. Spin for cats in the meantime. Gotta spin for cats. I'm ready. Any advice on drawing cities? Not sure where to start. With boxes. Yep. Just draw little boxes. Get lots of references of cityscapes. I saw one idea for drawing cities was actually to just set up books and things and mm -hmm. then reinterpret them as different buildings. Heck yeah. Make a sky world. <laughs> well, we gotta sign oh. in. You didn't tell me we were ready. We're ready. Well, yeah, I obviously know now. <laughs> I'll see you and put the music on this time. 
Do you want me to put the music on? Yeah. Yeah. What's the code? Don't say it out loud. I won't. It's in magenta, though. How can so I it's see not it? a real color. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, I'll tell our Discord people. Discord people are getting the, the fancy Nancy link. So, okay, so if you're new, you haven't been to one of our game streams, we play Drawful and other Jackbox games. Um, there's limited slots to play, so first and foremost, our patrons get first dibs on joining, and then uh, if there's open slots, everyone else gets to play. Um, and we usually do a few rounds, so if you play one round, um, it's very polite not to play it in the second round. Um, so that everyone gets lots of chances to play. Um, let's see, are there any other patrons beside Ace? I haven't noticed any no. in the chat today. I saw Nice, but I don't know if they're around. Oh, just wait on them a little bit. Yeah, we'll give it, we'll give it some time. It's code time. Thanks, Moke. <laughs> <laughs> Womp. Dude. I'm not ready. Do, 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 My VPN do, do. half broke. Oh no. Zipping. Me nipping. Me zipping. Who's vaping? Did someone join? Because I was. No, okay. Oh, it was Ace. Um, Ace did a join. We'll wait for one more minute. One more minute. One more minute. Un momento. Do, do, do. Will we be able to see on the screen? Yeah, we're yeah. just hiding it right now because the code. Yes. It's for our patrons. Mm -hmm. Remember that there's a huge leg, so get your answers in really quick. Yes. You have to be like on it. Yeah. Okay, I think we can open it up. Okay, so how you play is you go on to jackbox.tv. Yeah. And then you type in that code there. Okay. Do, 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 do. Do, do. I Hey, there we go. 10,000 onions. Is that Saul? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> do, 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 do. Buns Gotta wake on everyone. It's probably a uh, Tato. Oh, you're right, Tato. <laughs> oh god, who is the belch? <gasps> yeah, I figured it was Tato. Oh, okay, it's yeah. Tato. Oh, hon bunny. You so ready? So cute. Oh, wait, no. Sorry. No, no, there's some people are trying. I'm in the audience. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You are the audience. Ooh. You're not in the audience. You are solely the audience. Solely the audience? Yeah, soul. <laughs> the soul <laughs> member of the audience. <laughs> do you like mine? I do. It's very good. Thank you. Yours is also very good. <laughs> Tattoos. <laughs> 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 I like how we're slowly falling apart, except for Ace of Pan, who just by far has the best. Okay, everyone's oh, done yeah. now. Okay, okay. Everybody in. Whoa, everybody's in. There we go. Okay, cool. Hello, Nathan. Hello. Hello, Satan has arrived. Ooh, woo. Hello, woo. Hello, Satan. Hello, Stan. Ace of Pan is just the cutest. I don't know eight people. If you look at your devices followers. right now, you should see oh a secret God. prompt just for you. Things that are kind of weird. Like small limo or sexy pyramids. Draw a picture on your device that would have that title. And when you're done, hit send. You'll get points for each player that can correctly guess your title. So, go! Do it! Bye. 
Yes. I did really good work this time. Hell yeah. Yay, it's not lagging. Well, good. <laughs> I got green, though? What happened? It's McNasty. <laughs> it's me. Alright. You have to guess what this is. Now, use your device to type in whatever the heck the prompt for this drawing could be. Mine's awful, I apologize in advance. What's the point? <laughs> the whole point is it's awful. <laughs> it's Except for Ace of Pan, who's amazing. He's always is the cutest. Ace of Pan knows how to work within the system. <laughs> cool boy popped collar, Japanese school boy, double popped collar, happy guy, anime trench coat, popped collar, the anime, handsome snowman. They're also good. Mm hmm. Doot. Doot. Looks like a mob psycho character. Oh, totally. <laughs> Doot. 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 And here are your picks. <laughs> I got the whole audience. <laughs> Is it just Saul? Oh no, there's two people. There's two people in the audience. Oh, it's Cena and Saul. Handsome snowman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. Oh, we got got. Hell oh, yeah, you did. Oh, I typed it in first. Oh no. I was like, it's double pop, isn't it? What? I don't know. Anime trench coat. No. Oh, oh, it's the pen. You got it's got. Some gotten. <laughs> What's with the anime anthem? It looks like the Japanese school boy at uniform. It's like that, it's the anime face. Yeah. With double pop. I should have gone with oh, it. Oh, hell yeah. I got you. Damn it. <laughs> dang, damn it. Gosh, dang. Gosh, damn it. Gosh, ding, ding. Jim, jam. Jim, jam it. Jim, jam it. Oh, this is mine. <laughs> I love the little cat paw. The one on the screen. <laughs> Remember, I gotta get it in fast. You gotta be speedy quick. For there is lag. That was so cute. Thank you. Tell me what it's happening. Sad blender, smoothie, milkshake <laughs> flings, all the boys to the yard. Milkshake for cow, blender, beef smoothie, milkshake, pig blender. <laughs> I love the smoothie. <laughs> So good. It's so good. Less taters. Oh heck yeah! Oh, it did a smoothie. good job. So oh many people God. got it. Hell yeah. yeah! It's like a sad cow. Oh. A crying just, cow. I just assumed like it wasn't drawn right. <laughs> No, it's just a really sad cow. Mm. I had to work with the colors I got. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a human smoothie. Like if you saw that, you'd be like, oh no, stop. Wait, what am I looking at? Um, 
What? <laughs> what am I looking at? <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Hurry up. Hurry. Get your answers in. Come on. Hurry up. If I'm saying this, it's too late. Brussels sprout man, basketball pizza, basketball cookie, hot beef, <laughs> bad pizzas are good too, smelly cookie, frittata, eat, pray, love. Wait, no, that's not the one I wanted. Wait, which Let's was my answer? Brussels <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> me. I didn't mean to click that one. <laughs> I typed in basketball pizza too. You did? So my my answer probably <gasps> didn't go in. Oh. So I probably didn't have an answer this round. Oh. I didn't notice it say no. R.I.P. me. R.I.P. Oh no, we got back. Did anyone get her? Is there a frittata? Oh dang. Would help if I knew what a frittata looks like. Mayor sounds like Eleanor Shellstrop from The Good Place. I have never, never heard, seen that. Heard this scene. Oh, sorry, Moke. I didn't answer. You stole my answer. Oh, well, wait. We're... Hurry up! Hurry! If you're seeing us, you're halfway done. Tag, Noodle Man with Gun Shoots, Innocent Man with Booger, Solar Flare, Planet Battle, Oranges in a Shootout, Epic Showdown, Sun Shooting Earth, oh. Epilip Eclipse, Eclipse War? Eclipse, Eclipse War, probably. Doot, 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 doot. Your tank. <laughs> Sunburn, but it's a gun. Which is what I thought. Let's play the weird bomb game. The bomb game? Yeah, there's like a bomb game. Bomb squad. Hmm. Let's figure out what this is. Sure. Let's try it out. Let's go for it. Let's do it. A lip sore. A pleats. A pork. I spelled it wrong and oh, I no. picked it. It spelled wrong and I picked it. <laughs> Thanks, Asa Pan. Orange in a shootout. Oh, we got it! We got it! Little noises are so cute. <laughs> Hurry up! If you're seeing this, we're halfway through. <laughs> it's just gonna announce it, right? Remind you guys. Yeah. What the heck am I looking at?
That's okay, it's all right. It's just a silly game. It makes sense. Me. Okay. <laughs> Self reflection, black hole, black hole, planetary movement, stars and moon, beyond a black hole, immovable object in space, meatball eclipse. Doot, 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 doot. <laughs> Space hole. Worm hole. <laughs> Worms in space. Okay, who picked what? Oh no! Oh no! You got gut! Space hole? I was concerned, um, worm bookworms would be a thing. I got you. Oh. Ho ho ho, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh no, I got got. Oh yeah, I think we got got. Oh, oh no, we did it. Oh yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Getting on the black hole. Getting, getting, getting. Getting, getting. Getting, getting, getting. Getting. Damn it. <laughs> Streak. Catching up, me, you, and Ace the Pan are in the leaves. <laughs> Ooh. Up next. So riled up when she comes downstairs. Oh, you must fork. Cute Game Boy, cute test, virtual pet, Game Boy face, cute CE dating, Game Boy, Tinder, or history. the same as someone else. I hate when that happens. <laughs> oh no! I want to get a, a battery for my, my, my Tamagotchi. Yeah. Speaking of Furbies. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Furbies. Yeah, the ritual pets. Gling, gling. Gling, gling. No! Oh, no. Don't we get it? What is it? Tinder? Tinder? Oh my oh. god, I get it. I get it. I don't know which is which. That was a hard one. I was. I'm sorry you got that one. Mm -hmm. Ursula is winning. Hilly. Oh wait, we're tied. I'm cheating. We're tied. <laughs> this one's mine. And now, this one. Have fun. I'm sorry, what? Um, well, okay, mine finally loaded. 
Read them. Oh, Furnace, living in a bank vault, burning cash, money burning, fire money, throwing money into a furnace, burning money, or thief. He rubs hair. Pet hair. How dare you touch my hair? I understand what you do all the time. Yeah, I understand why you need conditioner. That's hard. That's hard. Hair is difficult. Unless you have my hair. I wanna just cut it all off half the time. I feel like my hair is dry and then I touch Ooh. yours. I got oh my god, that was a really good answer. <laughs> no one got it. Throwing no. money into a furnace. That's hard because it automatically makes people think of burning cash. Yeah. We're still tied, Ursula. <gasps> Why is it so hot? I showed burning money. Oh, because it says too close. Yeah, because sometimes you're just close to someone else's guess. Yeah. Oh, and that's the worst, because it makes you think, like... Red Bull gives you an LSD trip, I guess. Broken flamethrower. Dinosaurs worshipping an old god. Dinosaur lake. Broken fire extinguisher. Lizard water bottle. Tentacle rich waters. Or a gushing bottle. Doot. 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 And here are your picks. Pro tip, draw the opposite of your prompt. Then the real answer will be an outlier. <laughs> that is true. Mm. Broken fire extinguisher. That's a good one. Is it tentacle rich waters? Oh no, it's the audience. Heck! I like that the audience all votes the same. I know. You guys are like on point. Unless only one votes. <gasps> Did anyone get it? Okay. Here we go. Here we oh, go. is it like a flame? Oh, okay. Um. I got bones. you <laughs> dead. <laughs> it's a pin! I have a second. <laughs> I still beat you. Damn it! We got more flakes! Taters. Oh, hell yeah. Taters is likable. Hell yeah. Let's play the weird bomb game. Okay. Is everyone okay with that? Let's do a weird game that we've never touched. Okay. Bomb game. Okay. Let's do this bomb game. Let's try this. Sorry, I'm being quiet because I'm reading through what my options are. It's a party pack too. Is that it's on? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Two minutes. Oh, it's taking a while to launch because it's updating. Oh no, it's updating. <laughs> Heck. There's so many party packs we've never touched. I know. I didn't realize we had all three packs. Yeah. We can play every single game, except the newest one. We should download them and try. We don't know what the bomb game is like. I always see it and mm -hmm. I'm like, like heck yeah. It feels like it's going faster than a minute. Oh, yeah. 
Painting the jacket is hard because it's absorbing the paint. I guess you can draw in the meantime. <laughs> Got a yeah. minute. Yeah. Sweet doodling minute. I like these characters. They're really cute. They're really cute. It's only eight pages. You can get it done in a day. Oh, yeah. A day? It waits. That would be a good video. <laughs> it's, called, it's. I mean, you did 24 pages in a day. Mm. <laughs> and eight of them were good, so. That's true. Okay. Dude, can I do that as like a vlog? <laughs> Just vlogging. Yeah. Eight pages in a day. And like I can, uh, like I wouldn't do full recordings of pages because I wouldn't want to spoil. But like, I could do little snippets. Oh, by vlog you mean just like a, a video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a, I can film myself and talk and do some video of the footage. Would people be interested in that? Is knock, that a knock. thing? It's me. Both You'd like? Is like a more vloggy style, more than just like talking over drawing? Gosh, nobody. I, I bought the 24 hour comic yesterday. Very nice. Oh, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> we worked really something on it. <laughs> I died a we little bit. We worked that on day. that. <laughs> we, yeah. <laughs> we did that. That was a thing. I have vague memories of this. It's weird that it's just out there and done. I know. Like, I don't even think about it. Much. You guys would be into a video like that? Okay. I'll try it out. What day would you make it in? Hmm, probably. Let's do it tomorrow. <laughs> Didn't we have to clean out the basement? Heck. Monday. Woo. Why don't you just increase it to a week and we'll see? Okay. Let's see what bomb core is. Let's is see. it bad? If it's really boring, let me know. What's the other one? There's What's bomb core. Earwax. Game of sound strategy. That sounds like it'd be really hard to play. Yeah, with the leg. Interns of your kind must help defuse bombs in our office. It's a weird office full of bombs. <laughs> okay. What? One to four players. Oh, it's okay. only four players? Okay. It sounds like it's too hard. It sounds like leg. Yeah. Okay, I will go back. Sorry. Should we do idiots? People like idiots. Or Fibbage? No, Fibbage is the one that... Oh, Quiplash. That's the one we like. Quiplash. We haven't Quiplashed in a while. Okay. Do I do Quiplash? Yeah. Let's... Um... It's what? Can we do window mode? <laughs> Not full speed. Settings. There, there we go. go. Bidiots. Bidiots is more fun. You guys like bidiots? We oh. can do bidiots. Okay, let's do bidiots. Y'all like bidiots, that's fine. That's really fun. Ooh. Getting hot. Ooh. Okay. So we're just doing the code stuff. You know how to play twice, yeah. Unless no one joins, in which case then you can play twice. Okay. Yeah, I like your name. Thanks. <laughs> Code is being sent to the patrons. To the patrons. I think it's still just Ace. I think it's just Ace. I think we're good. Yeah, those characters are cute. I think. Um, okay. So like I said, if you've played the last game, um, hold off so other people can join uh, who didn't get to play. Um... And yeah, we'll see. Okay, we're showing it to the rest of ya. So here you go if you haven't played yet. And joined. So you gotta go to jackbox.tv and you type in that code. Do, 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 do. You bid on things that you like, basically. Yeah. It, 
It'll explain it, mostly. Yeah. There's a little explanation at the top. Peaches. You draw stuff and you buy, you try and buy it, basically. Yeah. Yep. It's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. You'll, you'll catch on. There is a delay, so bid to your heart's content. Hell yeah, it's all fixed to us. Lovely leaving fingerprints everywhere. Regardless, before we get started, we'll need some art to auction off. Okay. If you look at your device, you'll see I've securely transmitted the title of an art piece I'll need you to draw. Draw a piece of art for your device that, that would have that title as quickly color. and as accurately as you can, mm. while also giving it that ineffable something that elevates it to being a priceless piece of art. If someone else buys your art in the auction, you'll receive 50% of the auction price. Waiting for things is beneath me, so make it snappy. You'll actually need to draw two drawings before this timer runs out, so don't be too precious about it. Demonetized. <laughs> oh man. I remember there's a delay on the timer of about For ten what seconds. It's worth, we're approximately halfway through the allotted drawing time. So if you haven't moved on to your second drawing yet, this is a good time to publicly apologize for your selfishness. I'm sorry, my heart prompt was borderline unwholesome. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> this is going to be an unwholesome round. Oh Are no. Y'all going to get us demonetized? It's a good thing we got patrons here. <laughs> Wonderful, I see all the art is in. A few quick words about how the auction is going to work. We're going to auction off 12 drawings. Some drawings are worth a great deal of money to the art buyers who couldn't attend the auction, and others are worth a great deal less. You'll each begin the auction with $3,000 to use to buy art, although you'll make more when another player buys one of your drawings. I'm Our so art worried buyers about... will send each of you different information about exactly what they're willing to pay for a few of the drawings. The buyers are lonely, so expect to hear from them at the beginning of each new auction. In fact, you should have your first message on your device now. Remember, you can and should try to buy any drawings you suspect might be worth something. Or if you oh my like god, I'm seeing what this <laughs> is. The most Some of the these, the oh my god. <laughs> the first oh no. item up for bid. <laughs> How about we start the bidding at $400? Pay up. Next up, pay up. For spending all your money on my <laughs> glorious art. Let's see which artist was responsible for this artistic masterpiece. All right, thank then, you, Ripple. thank you. Half this money goes to the house, and the other half goes to you. Oh man. A fine sum of cash. But more importantly, let's see how much money Blue can fetch for selling this piece of art. Oh my god. Yeah. Holy heck. One in it. Oh, I have we gorgeous will add art. It to your tally at the end of the game. Wasn't it quack? <laughs> yes, it was. 
Oh, booms. Oh, look, it's that dodgy loan company. Predatory loans. Oh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Running low on money? Predatory loans can help. Just press the loan button on your device now and get $1,000 that you can use in auctions right away. Oh, sure, at the end of the game, you'll owe back $1,500, but the future is so far away. And remember, if you want to borrow money between auctions, just hit the call predatory loans button on your device. Predatory loans. Have you seen the opera Faust? Never mind. We never brought it up. Oh, hello, strawberry. Hello. hello. Peach. And peach. Peach. I Will love it. It, <laughs> it was amazing. We are now looking for twenty-five hundred dollars. <laughs> Outstanding. This, my friends, is a room of serious art patrons. And let's keep this party going by offering me twenty-five hundred dollars. Going once. Going twice. Going twice. So it's a mood. Congratulations, Gray. Thank you. How did he know my name? Ooh. Well, that's how the Fabergé cookie crumbles. <laughs> Fabergé <Sure> cookies. <laughs> oh, come on. The bank is annoying, right? <laughs> Sorry, man. Honestly, we don't think the host is really British. I love him. <laughs> I'm going to wear that for Halloween. Oh my oh. god! The next baby. <laughs> next up, it's mine. <laughs> I want it. It's mine. I don't care how much it is. I want it. It's mine. Hey, you're looking for what? Hey, Bidding well. I'm looking for thirty one hundred dollars, and I have a feeling that one of you is about to get this guy. I am looking for thirty two hundred. Can anyone show me thirty two hundred dollars? Going once, what if it's going twice? <laughs> Oh no. Oops. That probably hurts. Ugh, that means that someone called upon that awful borderline coleslaw. It's butt time. <laughs> hey man, these butts are allowed in kids' games. That's true. They're not like super realistic, but. <laughs> Hello. I, um, I would like. I'm scared of this one. I'm gonna step out. I love predatory loans. Let's talk about. Why are you growling, Fatal? Peaches is a winner. How about we start
$100. What? The What's that? that? It's with the butts. So who can give me <laughs> we just, just got butt prompts. <laughs> Going once. Butt prompts. Going twice. Good job, Greg. <laughs> oh. Oh, putrid. Moving along. Plea bop. 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 I think it's yours when you're trying to drive up the price. <laughs> Why is it doing that? What the hell? Why are we invaded by British men? Oh. 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 It crashed. Oh, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> um the the auctioneer's got me. Uh, oh god. Got an error message. It's all crashing. Um and I oop. <laughs> oh no. Oh um, no. Um okay, should we try that again? <laughs> oh. Oh my god. It echoed to crash. You stole all your money. <laughs> your computer is chugging. I don't know if we should. Yeah, maybe it's time to stop. I think it might be time to stop. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. It, it was, was ace. ace. <laughs> all of the checks. Yeah, your computer does not sound good. No, I think my computer needs a break. It's probably too hot. Yeah. It's overheating. You raised the numbers so high the game couldn't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> the bidding war was on fire. Oh my god. You didn't do the screws. Oh, oh. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, I think our computers are dying. Yeah. It sounds like the burning. Oh my god. It was the butts. It was too unwholesome. <laughs> Can we just, like, get this out of here? You're just taking your pen. Ew, you're not an artist. He's saying get back to work. <gasps> The computer's dying, Fado. Fado. Next time. Yeah, I'll have to do it next time. Yeah. Woo. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Butts aren't lewd. Butts are pure. Okay. Fado's being weird. Okay. Your butt is you. Okay, well... YouTube tippy toed into your computer and shut it down. <laughs> it was like, no, do not play. I won't be here next time. Oh, I'm sorry. We're Who's also doing the gonna... critique stream next week. Yeah, critique stream so is next week. Games. I look away for one second and it crashed. I know. Oh, I'm sorry. Ugh. My foot is a prune. Oh no. It's okay. That's why God intended. <laughs> well. We did do an extra long stream. We did. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Oh, that sucks. You're going to pick a winner. What? Finish the game. The answer is that we're all winners because we all made great art. We're all winners. Okay, I guess. Before OBS crashes, too? Yeah, okay. We should go. We will see you next. Oh. oh. We'll see you next time. Thanks for coming.